Hey, yeah, in today's video, we are going to build an enclosure for this huge Nando Trip female, you see. And at the same time, as promised, I'm going to show you how you can combine two sets of my plastic parts for building enclosures. I'm going to show you how you can combine two of these sets to build one bigger enclosure. As all of you probably already know, these are the enclosures that I personally build. You see, these are the enclosures that I build for future expos. And these are the dark den enclosures. And at the same time, I am selling these plastic parts that enables you to build an enclosures just like this. But there is a certain limitation. Using the parts, you are limited to width of 20 centimeters. But as I already told you, you can combine two of these sets to build one wider enclosure, you see, just like that. And it opens simply and easily. Uh, you can even build wider enclosures than 30 centimeters. This is, for example, a 35, but honestly, this is already stretching it to the limits. I would recommend to build maximum of 30 centimeters, but it is possible, as you see, to build a bigger enclosure. And as you know, all of these enclosures had the old style door, which is a front opening uh, with magnets and hinges. But this was, uh, even though this is super practical, it is not that safe because the magnets can fall off, the hinges can fall off, it looks ugly if you ask me, and also the plexiglass can scratch and then you can't do anything with it. But with this, this is glass, and easily cleanable, while in the same time the opening of the enclosure is super simple and seamless. Yeah, and I love how they look. That is the last enclosure that I need to convert, while Annie will go out of that enclosure into this one, and I will keep this enclosure as it is, because this is uh, one of my first enclosures that I built. Then I need to move Fastiat out of that enclosure into this one, I will disassemble that enclosure, and I need to return this one because this is my friend's enclosure. This is my friend's tarantula. I'm just keeping it for now. After that, all of the enclosures will look the same. And then I will finally have all the enclosures of the same style, of the same design. And that is, you know, like a wet dream of every tarantula keeper, especially the ones that have bigger collection. It is so nice to see everything looking the same. Okay, enough of me talking about those enclosures. Let's build this one. This is also an old enclosure that used to have an uh, old style of door opening with hinges and magnets. So I removed all of that, but I kept the background so I don't need to do it in this video. Now the process of combining two of these sets into one, it is not that hard, but you need to be a bit crafty and also you need to have appropriate tools. Tools are required because we need to do a relatively precise cut. You see, these are the parts for 20 centimeters enclosure and these are the combination of parts for 30 centimeters enclosure. And right off the bat, you can see where those cuts are made. So each of these parts is being cut. This is the front ventilation part. This is the bottom of the door, this is top of the door, and this is the back ventilation. And if you check these already pre-cut parts, uh, I cut them right on this, this pillar, you see? So if you count one, two, three, this is fourth pillar. You take your left part and you cut right on the edge of this fourth pillar. So this you keep, look, you throw this away. You, you, you only, you, you only keep this, you cut right here and you throw this away. And for the left part, you cut on the first pillar, but on this edge. So for, to repeat, for left side, you cut on first, second, third, fourth pillar on the right side, while for the right part, you cut on first pillar on its left side, you see? So you always keep the pillar. To cut the parts, you can use the jigsaw or handheld circle or so but I noticed that you get the best result if you use the table saw and that is how I cut my parts with the table saw. Once you cut the parts, you test fit them. You put the left one while the right one probably won't fit perfectly. Now this one fits because I already uh, dealt with it, but usually this side will be a bit wider and it won't fit. In that case, you just take your part, you take a sanding paper or something like that and you just sand that down until 
it fits in the in the right spot the reason why you don't cut it precisely immediately is because the glass is not always cut to ideal dimensions and also you cannot really ideally as assemble it and therefore you want to leave yourself a bit of a wiggle room just like a millimeter of wiggle room so you can be sure that everything fits you do the same thing for the uh, back ventilation you cut left part to one two three fourth pillar and you cut right part on the first pillar and make sure to double check the orientation these go on back and these go on front the plastic parts go like this you know and not like this this always goes to the back so once you cut those parts you test fit them and make sure that they fit you see just like that and i didn't even acknowledge the way you build this it is the same as how you build the 20 centimeters cube so go and check that video if you forgot or you don't know how the only difference is when you are assembling the 20 centimeters cube you can use this to kind of uh, hold your glass in place while in this case you can't really do that because you don't have a single piece of this part so i recommend you first to build a couple of smaller enclosures before you move into bigger ones just so you get the feeling of assembling these enclosures and here are the dimensions of glass panels that you need uh, back is this these are left and right sides this is front side this is bottom side you have the door you have the the movable lid and the back top panel as you see i recommend uh, two millimeters thickness glass for removable lid and three millimeters glass for the top lid that is not movable but if necessary these top guiders can also fit a three millimeters glass so the movable lid can also be a three millimeters thickness if that is what is easier for you to get you know although two millimeters will slide a bit easier you know once you cut the front and top ventilation you need to cut the doors and basically what you do you take the door you see you fit it in its place you see in this hole like this and then you mark right here you cut this off so basically you get this you see just like that but it is not the same length you cannot just measure it because they are not aligned here that's why you need to first put it inside of the hole to be sure where to cut it that is for the left side and for the right side you just fit it with this hole you see this hole needs to align just like that and then you cut it right here you cut this part off which leaves you with this you see just like that and the top parts are the same length so for the left and the right side you just make them same length and that's it if you follow those simple instructions you got yourself a parts for 30 centimeters wide enclosure now let's assemble it apply the glue of your choice and you see I'm using this black glue now you can still use the glues that I recommended in the original video but I found out that this gives the best result and it is if you can get your hands on this it will work the best a little bit here and a little bit here and also for the top panel left side and right side Oh, and I forgot, first we actually need to assemble the door, but it is the same thing. You see, that's the door, it goes right here. Perfectly. Now we secure it with this top part. And make sure that it opens without any hiccup yeah that's it easy peasy now you see i'm running into problem here because i cannot fully close the door with this in place and the reason for that is this is just a tiny bit too wide and therefore this back side back side of this door is hitting if you look nicely you see it is hitting this plastic part of this i'm not sure if you can see it well oh you see now from here you see i'm like one millimeter too wide on this what you can do in this situation you can still remove this top part and just sanding down a bit so it fits or we can just simply take this part off the glue is still not cured anyway and we cut this off with a scalpel i'm gonna show you now just a hair right here 
let's see. Oh no, 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 I cut the wrong thing. I actually had to cut this and not this. Silly me, but whatever. Look now, just... Zoop. That should do it. Ah, yes. Almost like a glove. Now we deal with the back, but for that we need a silicone because we will be siliconing the glass part. Just remember not to go all the way because this part is reserved for the plastic part. The top ventilation, you know. Blah, 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 blah. Now back to black glue. Apply it on all the edges. This goes here. And... Oh, no. <laughs> this goes here. Very nice. The enclosure is done. Now I need to let, let it all cure and vent because there are some fumes and stuff. So let's do a time jump and now we can proceed. This should all be familiar. We will add a bunch of substrate, the standard mixture of cocoa fiber, potting soil, peat moss, and I even have some leaf litter and you see branches inside. After I have added sufficient amount of substrate, I just compress it a bit and add a classic cork bark, you know, to act as a high terrestrial I can dig. And this one even got a bit of moss on it. Pretty cool. I just stick that in the corner, secure it by compressing more substrate. I'm gonna add a bit more leaf litter, even though I have some in the substrate. Enclosure always look nicer with it. That is a proven thing. And now after all of that, the main thing, it is this stuff. People that are not familiar with this channel would get a funny ideas now, but all of you that are long-term dark than viewers know what this is. It is of course sand for the texture and not any sand. This one you see comes from Egypt. So we are going to add a bit of Egyptian flavor to the enclosure. I received it from subscribers on Lestera Plaza. Actually, I showed it in the last video. So this is indeed a very special scent for the texture. And the fun fact, it is really fitting to use an Egyptian scent because you know, a few days ago, like five or six days ago, it was announced that they discovered a secret chamber in the Great Pyramid of Giza. So that is super exciting. Almost as exciting as moving this tarantula in a brand new enclosure. Look at this beauty. Nando Tripepi. <laughs> Let's give her a push. Although you know Nando species, they are pretty feisty and I think that we will add some new holes to this straw. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Bam, ba -bam, ba bam Hello, beautiful. No? You're going to be a bit passive, huh? That is totally fine. I just need you to go up. Up, 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 yes, yes. Yep, 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 that's the right direction. Maybe I need something better, something a bit sturdier. Since now I know that she is not in a biting mood. Okay. Yes, 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 excellent. Go, 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 come on. No, 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 don't go back. This is your brand new enclosure. You even got the hide and everything. Oh, but look at this, it is... I mean, it is not too small, but she could benefit from a bigger enclosure. Maybe 35 centimeters one. <laughs> but as you know, tarantulas don't really benefit from... I mean, they don't really care about the space as long as the roaches keep coming. But what is that black thing on her fangs? See it? It is like she got some sort of... Some sort of mark or something. Hum, hum, hum. I can't really see it very well, but you see, it is almost like she got some smears across her her fangs. No, 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 don't go out. Please. <laughs> Just enjoy your new house. And you can crawl inside of that hole. Feel free to do so. Hmm. Let me just quickly swap to the macro lens so we can maybe check out if she turns so we can see it though. That is if she turns so we can see it. Look at her tiny eyes over there. But now we can actually check her hairy legs. Yeah, they're, her legs are really, really hairy. You see how, how long they are. An abdomen? Hmm. Really, really neat. And look at this. What does this slit represent, huh? What do you think? I have no idea, but I see that she got that on the other knee also. So it is not damage, it is 
it is a feature right there and over there and the tip of her paw look at this cute little paw <laughs> and there is some yellow coloration you see now that we are close we can actually see it really really well there is a lot of stuff going on on these legs and you see those slits also on these legs every knee got those slits and not just knee also here macro always reveals a lot a lot that you cannot really see with your bare eyes but i would like oh she's moving now i just wanted to say that i would like to move her so we can see the things oh we can actually see it through here you see right here it is as if her uh, her small hairs are missing and that is just the exposed uh, exoskeleton underneath sweet okay we can end this video now i'm satisfied um, i hope that you enjoyed it of course if you want to build an enclosure like this by yourself uh, there will be a link in the description to my web shop where you can order the parts just know that you need to order two sets for a single terrarium maybe i should do a bundle of two sets without these plastic parts because you don't really need two of these you just need one set hmm, maybe i can make it like cheaper anyhow i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did thumbs it up and comment something if you want to support this channel in more there's a patreon page if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe apple every monday sometimes on friday so see you again soon bye